Welcome, welcome one and all to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. And as you can see right there, that means legally we are live after Joe Biden's first official State of the Union address. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it was a roller coaster ride of rip, roaring reasonableness. <laughs> Keep in mind, a week ago, this was going to be a totally different speech. But when Ukraine was invaded, the whole world changed. Because right now, there is a dictator who thinks he can violently conquer a sovereign democracy. But Joe Biden beat him in the last election. <laughs> and. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> and now, the world is facing another one who's rolling tanks into Ukraine. Many lawmakers attending wore colors of the Ukrainian flag, blue and yellow. It's a show of solidarity not seen since the last Minions movie. <laughs> and Biden got right to the topic on everyone's mind, Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. He thought he could roll into Ukraine and the world would roll over. Instead, he met with a wall, a wall of strength he never anticipated or imagined. Yes, he ran into a wall of strength which is why we must keep Vladimir Putin from acquiring weapons of mass Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> then, then, the president of the United States called for a symbolic gesture from all those present. Let each of us, if you're able to stand, stand and send an unmistakable <laughs> signal to the world <laughs> of Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was a moving moment of bipartisan unity, especially considering the last time Congress stood up that fast together, they were the ones fleeing a fascist invasion. <laughs> now, this is over the weekend. Over this weekend... Mm. Mm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> over the weekend, Biden and our allies imposed crippling financial sanctions on Russia, and tonight, Biden added a measure aimed directly at Putin's buddies. The United States... The Department of Justice is assembling a dedicated task force to go after the crimes of the Russian oligarchs. We're joining with European allies to find and seize their yachts, their luxury apartments, their private jets. Woo! Now seize Bezos's penis rocket and that stupid cowboy hat! Woo! Woo! Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. And the smackdown did not stop there. Tonight, I'm announcing that we will join our allies in closing off American airspace to all Russian flights, further isolating Russia. Boom! Now Russians will be stuck at their airports eating Cinnaborscht. But <laughs> I tell you, if he really wanted to punish Russia, he'd just divert all their flights to Newark. Oh. Terminal C. <laughs> Terminal, Terminal C, baby. <laughs> America's not alone in this fight. The EU and Canada have already banned Russian planes from their airspace, and all flights to Russia have even been canceled by the low-cost, hungry-based airline, Wizz Air. <laughs> That's right, Russia. You can't even take a Wizz. <laughs> and they're Hungary's number one airline. Now, when, when his speech turned to the American economy, he started with the classics. My dad had to leave his home in Scranton, Pennsylvania to find work. Woo! <laughs> Do no malarkey! Do dog face pony soldier sniff someone's hair! <laughs> then... It gets very hot very fast. Then... <laughs> then Biden started talking about his relief plan, and Chuck Schumer got out a little ahead of his skis. The American Rescue Plan... <laughs> The American Rescue Plan helped working people. Are, are we? Are we? Are we not clapping? Are we? Okay, I'll. Okay, I'll, I'll sit down. Sorry. And left no one behind. There you go. There you go. There you go. I didn't. That was. I sorry. I got a little. It's kind of weird. I'm live, but evidently Chuck Schumer's on a seven-second delay. Then, then Biden made a big promise. We're going to provide... <laughs> provide affordable, high-speed internet for every American, rural, suburban, urban, 
and tribal communities. Yes, because in America, regardless of who you are or where you live, everyone deserves the fundamental human right to stream pornography. <laughs> then... <laughs> then the president highlighted the efforts of American workers. Powered by people I've met, like JoJo Burgess, from generations of union steelworkers in Pittsburgh, who's here tonight. Where are you, JoJo? JoJo, JoJo was a man who thought he was a loner, but he knew it couldn't last. <laughs> JoJo, JoJo left his home in Tucson, Arizona for some California grass. Get back, get back, JoJo. <laughs> get back to where you once belonged. <laughs> Come on, no, I'm serious, folks. Get back. Not everyone was focused on the speech. Uh, Kevin McCarthy was there, but busy looking at his phone. <laughs> to be fair, today's wordle was pretty tricky. <laughs> of course, the, the, the minority leader in the House not paying attention looks disrespectful, but keep in mind, he might have been on Amazon shopping for a spine. <laughs> many, many, good guy. You like him. Many of Biden's cabinet were there. We got to see Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg in the balcony. <laughs> just, just kidding. I'm joking. We make jokes. <laughs> just joshing, that boy is Joshua Davis, a 13-year-old who has been fighting to help kids with type 1 diabetes. But a seat of the State of the Union wasn't the only reason it was a special day for Joshua. Happy birthday, buddy, by the way. <clears throat> For Joshua and 200,000 other young people with type 1 diabetes, let's cap the cost of insulin at $35 a month. Oh my God, he is so adorable. <laughs> he just. I just want to grab those cheeks. <laughs> and, and this is the truth it's his 13th birthday. The poor kid got stuck with the worst bar mitzvah theme of all time. <laughs> Rampant inflation. <laughs> anyway, I mean, it was really a sweet moment. I mean, there is no one in that room cuter than that kid. <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> the president also announced that companies who took advantage of COVID relief were finally going to be held accountable. The Justice Department will soon name a chief prosecutor for pandemic fraud. Hopefully he means financial pandemic fraud and not lying about maybe being exposed so you can get out of going to your cousin's destination wedding. <laughs> Biden touted his COVID response. I've ordered more pills than anyone in the world has. Wow, I didn't know Joe was cast in the next season of Euphoria. <laughs> there you go. Nothing like a live show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Biden finished his speech with the unveiling of his big unity agenda, and the first item stuck out to me. Let's take on mental health. I can't believe he made a direct attack on Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> then... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Biden ended with a rousing salute to America. We're the only nation on earth that has always turned every crisis we faced into an opportunity. The only nation that can be defined by a single word. Stuffed crust. Wait, <laughs> that's two. Crunchtastic? <laughs> Benefer? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. President, I interrupted. You were talking about the State of the Union? My report is this. The State of the Union is strong because you, the American people, are strong. <laughs> we are stronger today. We are stronger today than we were a year ago. That's true, but it's a pretty low bar. <laughs> a year ago, we weren't wearing pants and our asses had merged with our couches. <laughs> but all in all, in the end, it was a powerful speech at a moment of global crisis and Biden brought it home with a rousing call to national greatness. This is our moment to meet and overcome the challenges of our time. And we will. As one people, one America, the United States of America. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you.
Go get him. Yeah, go get him. Just do it. Smoke him if you got him. Play ball. Get jiggy with it. Gotta catch them all. That'll do, pig.